Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Plenty of harmony on the gantry, I can assure you, between Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler. We have football today from the Championship in England. Millwall against Queen's Park Rangers. I love visiting this ground. I've rarely been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. Sean Hutchinson, number five, Jake. Well, he could be the star turn in this game. Certainly the one to watch, the one to try and keep quiet here. Ryan Leonard. Number 19, Ryan Ward. Number 22, Aidan O'Brien. And number nine, Tom Bradshaw. Millwall will go like this into this fixture. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. I know. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them... And they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the... Woods. Leonard. to get to that one full stretch it was heading for the corner that one <laughs> corner swung in and the goalkeeper it's his ball Alan McAnally is covering the Brentford game for us today. And I believe, Alan, you've got news of a goal. It's a goal for Brentford. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Strong play with his back to the goal. Helps the team this. They got the ball, but didn't really master it. Could be in behind the back line. 
Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. That is a startling save. That's all about reactions and agility. Rankel. Real promise about that build-up until that challenge. Leonard. Saw the pass coming and got there first. He has cleared it well. It's become a rather defensive policy here with a team that's camped really in its own half at the moment. And that does let the opposition have free possession. They can really come at you, it's risky. Wallace. They're looking good when they attack. A chance to play it into the centre now. Ah, oh, the keeper's done well to keep that one out. Ball. They can be quick on the break now. The assistant who's got the flag up, it's offside. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went uh, straight to an opponent. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Strong tackle to break up the play. Good pass in. Poor on the ball. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. We can hear from Alan McAnally from the Hawthorns today. It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. 27 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. Well, frustration from the manager, but by the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. Here comes the corner. Played away, well away from goal. Well, let's get an update from West Bromwich Albion and their match, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Huddersfield Town. 30 minutes played, 2-1. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Cameron. To put them in front. Well, it's a goal that's been on the cards. The better team at this stage of the match. And you wonder whether they would make that domination count. Well, they've done with this goal. Thoroughly deserved. They lead. Well, some might say you'd prefer to score from 25 yards, but I wouldn't go along with that. This is all about instinct. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. It's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for QPR, number nine, Jordan Hugill. Bodvarsson, Bradshaw, O'Brien. Looking for teammates in the middle. And the pass not completed, really. Pressed high here.
Chance to cross it. Couldn't go down the outside, he's gone inside. Here's an opportunity. Oh, what a tackle to break up the play. Now that's a throw. A real opening for him. So close, the post. Really vital interception here. Well, let's hear from Alan McAnally, who's covering the Nottingham Forest game for us today. And I believe it has a goal to bring us up to speed with. Alan? It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. 40 minutes played, 1-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Bodvarsson. And Cooper. Woods. Bradshaw. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up, but they're keeping the ball well. Spread the intentions of the opposition there to Bradshaw, Leonard, guiding the pass through. That was tight. Keeper had to be brave to get well, that's half time at 1 0. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Oh, he was uh, he was all over the place, superb and hitting the woodwork, very nearly adding a second there. This might be it! It's almost defied gravity to get to that one. Full stretch, it was heading for the corner, that one. To put them in front. Well, it's a goal that's been on the cards. The better team at this stage of the match. And you wonder whether they would make that... And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Came in with the challenge, and the ball broke free. And it's gone out for a throw. Rangel. Ball gives it away. Bradshaw, Leonard. They might have played him in here. In the clear for a great chance. That is a fine goal, and it's brought them back level once more. Very good play. Certainly, they've been very positive since they went behind, and now they've got reward for that with an equalising goal. Well, there's a goal that's perhaps not gone according to the script here. They just picked their moment to get forward after a lot of defending. Yeah, and they can thank the defenders for that, but uh, when they did get the ball, they moved it forward really quickly. They were, they were ruthless there. This manic a substitution or a, a change in formation. I think we're going to see one here after that equaliser. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. He's cut it out. 
A reminder for you that on EA Sports we're covering the EFL Championship fixture. It's Millwall facing Huddersfield Town. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. Alan McAnally is at Nottingham Forest today and he's got news of a goal. Alan. It's a second goal for Nottingham Forest. 55 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Must be a goal! Gonna be a... corner now and it's going to be two changes now We've got news of a goal from the Sheffield Wednesday match. Our reporter there is Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Fulham. 57 minutes played. 1-0. It's a fine stop. A full stretch from the keeper to turn that aside. This is a message for all... Alan McAnally, our man on the spot there, but we had to break away from him. Apologies for that. Confirmation for you that Fulham did score in that match. They are winning 1-0. A great chance to go in front, and they have done. Oh, that could be a big goal, because this side knows how to defend a lead. Well, it was a decent move and to get some space in a crowded penalty area. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Oh, look at the manager, he works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. Well, long overdue you feel this change for a side that's behind. A switch of tactics now. And we restart the game 2-1. We've had an 30 minutes left. reading of the by anticipating the pass and they've got a man out wide now can he take them on support coming from a deeper position well he scored and it's a big moment for them in the match they've pushed their lead now to two ahead they've played well to this point but sometimes a two goal lead can be a dangerous one we'll see brilliant football from a superb team who struck twice in as many minutes. It wasn't an individual goal, it was a beautiful team effort. Lovely interplay. Three one the score line as we restart the game. Alan McAnally's at the Hawthorns today with news of a goal. It's a third goal for Huddersfield Town. 65 minutes played. 3 1. So many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. That's cut out. How about Queen's Park Rangers and their next game, Alan? They're playing Huddersfield Town in their next match. And the two managers have summed it up. I think there's not going to be much between them. Kidding themselves, really, with this passing because they're not challenging the opposition as the scoreline shows. Oh, time to get the cross now. He's seen that room is on the inside. That will end the threat, at least for the moment. Watching the Reading game for us today is Alan McAnally, and he's got a goal to tell us about Alan. It's a goal for Blackburn Rovers. 71 minutes played, 1-1. That's Alan McAnally keeping it.
is bang up to date. Coming off now is the winger, who's had a decent outing, hasn't he? Some real contributions. Oh, he has, and he's got the crowd up on their feet many times this uh, this match. Well played, Tom. Wallace. Woods. To O'Brien. Players trying to attack the cross. Well, they got it wide very well, the chance to get the cross in, but it's not turned out to be a very good delivery. The home team about to make a change. Slipping it through. Real opening now. The keeper stops it. There could be a follow-up now. But they've got some really clever technician in the way that they've created this number of chances today. No wonder they're winning comfortably. Is he in here? It's a good pass in behind the defenders. Awkward for the goalkeeper, but he was positive and just beat the attacker to the ball. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Bodvarsson. Well, they've got him behind here. It's broken down, and they'll have to try again. Rangel. News of a goal at the Hawthorns. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for West Bromwich Albion. The shot's up. It's another one for them. They go further in front and they are full value for this position. Two for him on the day, and two very well-taken goals. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Oh, a bad day all round. Didn't play well. Picked up a yellow, and now he's been subbed. Well, the game petering out a little bit now, with both sides settling for what's on the scoreline. Vast difference between the two teams. Well, I'm sorry that I had to interrupt Alan McAnally earlier. I can confirm it was a West Brom goal that he was talking about. The score is now 3-2. Wallace. Woods. Now it's Queen's Park Rangers with the ball. Pew. Three minutes, that's what's going to be played for added time. Three minutes of added time. Well, he clears the danger. Woods. O'Brien. Well, they're getting the ball forward, they need to do that. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Well, that's it, the final whistle. Well, look at that scoreline. And it emphasises what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. Well, the first whistle, they were on top and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. This might be it! It's almost defied gravity to get to that one. Full stretch, it was heading for the corner, that one. To put them in front. Well, it's a goal that's been on the cards. The 
better team at this stage of the match. And you wonder whether they would make that. Leonard. They might have played him in here. That is a fine goal. And it's brought them back level once more. Very good play, certainly. Must be a goal. That'll be a corner now. Oh, that could be a big goal, because this side knows how to defend a lead. Support coming from a deeper position. Well, he scored, and it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. News of a goal at the Hawthorns, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for West Bromwich Albion. The shot's on. It's another one for them, they go further in front and they are full value for this position.